Not that long ago, one of the men that Donald Trump paid a lot of money to following the 2020 election in order to go out and find all the voter fraud man by the name of Ken block. Not long ago, he wrote an op-ed where he explained that Donald Trump is absolutely lying about voter fraud in the 2020 election. And he would know because as the owner of simpatico software systems, he was hired to find the fraud and he couldn't find the fraud. Well, this past week, he did it again. He wrote another op-ed, Mr. Block did. And this time he didn't just explain that Donald Trump is lying about voter fraud. He actually decided to show us data about why Donald Trump actually lost in the first place, specifically in the state of Arizona, where the op-ed first appeared. Now, Arizona, of course, has been a hotbed for Republicans claiming voter fraud is switching elections. Obviously we saw it after the 2020 election with Donald Trump. And then that nearly like year and a half cyber ninjas audit that was riddled with problems. Then of course, Carrie Lake has been going on for over a year and a half now about voter fraud. She actually sued alleging the election was stolen from her before the election took place, like a month and a half before the election in 2022, she had filed her first lawsuit alleging fraud. So Mr. Block decided to take his fight directly to Arizona and explain to all of these idiot Republicans in his op-ed why Trump actually lost. And it's actually very simple. Mr. Block explains Trump lost because he didn't get as many votes. I mean, that kind of seems obvious, right? Like, well, you didn't win because you didn't get as many votes, but Block actually explains it a little bit better than that. Here's what he said. Another astonishing and undeniable trend emerged when I compared the 2016 and 2020 election results. In most of Arizona's counties, Trump's share of the vote declined in 2020 relative to 2016. That includes what I define as red counties because Trump won there in 2016 and 2020. A majority of Arizona's 10 red counties saw a drop in Trump's vote share in 2020. Trump's pollster, Tony Fabrizio, documented this loss of moderate GOP support in a December 2020 report detailing exit polling results across the swing states commissioned by the Trump campaign, he continued. And then he took a shot at conservative media. Conservatives mainly get their news from conservative media. Coverage of my story about working for the Trump campaign and the subpoenas I have faced, I have received garnered mention in just one conservative outlet for an entire year. Facts are only helpful if people are made aware of them. I love that. That is, that is like one of the best quotes I've ever seen. Facts are only helpful if people are made aware of them. That is a brilliant, like you should almost trademark that Mr. Block, because that is such a good, powerful sentence. I love it. And he's right. And that's why he put this op-ed in Arizona. Cause he's like, listen, Y'all don't seem to get it. A lot of you are still out here whining about fraud that I'm telling you I investigated and it doesn't exist. I didn't even find 12 full instances of voter fraud in my investigation. But the reason Trump lost is because the moderate Republicans were repulsed by him and simply didn't vote for him. That's seen in the results, that's seen in the exit polling that another man Trump hired, again, Tony Fabrizio, he found the same thing. It's, it wasn't the fraud, it was that people just didn't want Trump to be president again because he lost the moderates. Do you think those moderates have come back to him this year, by the way, folks? Cause all the polling data actually shows, no, they haven't. Biden is consistently winning with independents and moderates. So that's going to be pretty rough for Donald Trump to win an election when he cannot win the moderates. We are likely looking at a repeat of 2020 where, you know, we go into it and oh God, it's close. It's neck and neck. And then at the end, oh, well, that was pretty easy, right? Probably what's going to happen this year. I mean, can't predict for certain, but based on the data we're seeing now, it's starting to look a lot like 2020.